Hi, I'm Bill Lynn. I'm the Vice President of Heritage Arsenal. And today we have a uniform to talk about that has attribution to Major General uh, Thomas D. Finley, West Point class of 1916. Now, Thomas Finley was born in Maryland in 1895 and entered with the class of 1916 and 1912. Soon after their graduation, considering that Bradley and Eisenhower had just graduated the year prior, this brand new crop of lieutenants, um, some of them found their way to Mexico uh, during the border incursions, which uh, Pancho Villa um, had in, uh, initiated down there and caused Pershing and an expeditionary force to go down and uh, bring him to justice, which actually did not occur. But it was some of the first combat action and deployments of the U.S. Army in a considerable period of time. So General Finley went from that point as a uh, young, inexperienced lieutenant to the First World War, where he fought uh, two campaigns um, in combat before returning to the United States. By 1942, he was the assistant division commander of the 89th Infantry Division, the Rolling W. And then very soon after, a year uh, later, he was the commanding general of that division. In January 1945, the 89th Infantry Division landed at La Havre, France, and participated in the push east across Europe. And uh, in March 1945, in uh, interestingly enough, they loaded assault boats and were actually um, some of the first units to penetrate the Rhine into the heart of Germany. Uh, they also had a, a grisly experience in liberating one of the subcamps of Buchenwald. Uh, the 89th uh, suffered over a thousand casualties uh, during their combat action under the leadership of uh, Thomas Finley. General Finley later briefly commanded the 16th Corps uh, before he was hospitalized and then retired in 1946. But a remarkable career um, that was at the crossroads of several important uh, military engagements and, in fact, uh, full-scale world wars uh, that uh, the United States participated in. So what we have here is General Finley's uniform, uh, actually made in Paris uh, during the time he was in the European Theater of Operations. What you'll see is the major general stars uh, not only on the epaulets of his uniform, but on his cap. They're in bullion and they're directly sewn to the uniform. His army staff badge actually is in pinback, a beautiful enamel example. At that time, uh, it was also very popular to directly sew ribbons uh, to the uniform. And you actually see uh, that was General Finley's option in this case. And you see all the way from his Distinguished Service Medal, two legions of merit the Bronze Star, his actual uh, medal for participation in Mexico on the punitive expedition uh, with General Pershing, his two campaign stars on his First World War um, campaign medal, then his campaign medals from the Second World War, two campaign credits in the European theater, uh, which of course he was leading uh, the 89th Division as the commanding general. And then there's a couple of very interesting foreign awards, the Legion of Honor from France, as well as the Croix de Guerre with Palm, an individual valor award from uh, the Republic of France as well. We have his pants, as well as the leather briefcase uh, or map case that General Finley carried throughout the war um, with his name stenciled on it. So anyway, an interesting, um, rarely encountered, uh, untouched, this is not a rebuild, came straight, uh, as you see it, and uh, to have a uniform of an uh, actual division commander uh, from the European theater in the Second World War, and to have had it survive essentially in its original state is an exceptional uh, item, and we thought we'd bring that to you today.